Welcome to Around the World Channel. Despite 22 years leading Iowa, Kirk Ferentz claims ignorance of player mistreatment within program, CBS Sports. It took until the last week for veteran Iowa coach Kirk Ferentz to become aware of allegations of widespread mistreatment of players within his program. Column, Trump's Surprise Center of Resistance, The Pentagon, Los Angeles Times. The leaders of the American military establishment drew a line in the sand last week, staging a polite but unmistakable rebellion against the dangerous impulses of President Trump. Leak, Dead Island 2, copy shows the zombie game that might have been, and gadget. Dead Island 2 is still in development limbo years after its 2014 reveal, but you now know what it would have looked like if Deep Silver and Yeager hadn't parted ways. Apple wins patent for socially distant group selfies, Gizmodo. It can be difficult to return to business as usual during America's first phase of reopening with federal social distancing recommendations still in effect. Protesters stage die-in outside of NJ Police Department. This is a movement, not a moment. NJ.com. Hundreds of masked protesters silently clutched photos of black Americans killed by police during a die-in outside the Elizabeth Police Department Sunday afternoon. Stasi Schroeder and Kristen Dute apologize to Faith Stowers, E. News. In addition to those experiences, the ex on the beach star also recalled the time Stasi and Kristen called the cops on her. There was this article. Bubba Wallace faints mid-interview with Fox after Atlanta race, Yahoo Sports. Bubba Wallace was extremely fatigued after Sunday's race at Atlanta. Wallace fell to the ground after he finished the three-plus hour race in 21st. The race began after 3 p.m. American Airlines outlines severance packages for high-level employees, CNBC. American Airlines has recently detailed severance packages for high-level employees if they are laid off when the terms of federal aid expire in the fall, people familiar with the matter said. Possible tornado touches down near Orlando, CBS News. A tornado touched down near Orlando, Florida, Saturday, according to the city of Orlando. The National Weather Service in Melbourne, Florida, issued several tornado warnings throughout the region. James Bennett resigns from New York Times after cotton op-ed backlash, CNN. New York, CNN, the editor of the New York Times editorial page, James Bennett, has resigned, publisher A.G. Salzberger announced Sunday. Please, like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay tuned for upcoming news.